So, I'm back here at this job again. Um, from the previous video I made uh, last Wednesday. Um, now, so, what had happened, so this is just following. I'll actually link the other video below, so if you just see this one, you can see what's going on. But I was here the other day, spent like a couple of hours here. They gave us a CPI number instead of a channel pair. Anyway, so the customers said, look, we've got the right channel pair. Um, come, you know, you can come back because Telstra came here, then basically said, oh, there's a problem with the building, and then they left, right? I even tagged it for them here. There was no problem with the building, right? So I tagged it. All I need to do is jump, run and jump into the channel pair. Now, when I come here today, um, they gave me two channel pairs, right? Two different channel pairs they text, they emailed the customer. Now, the channel pairs, as you can see, they start with this and then go to here with DSL and then blah, 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 right? They didn't actually give me any pairs. The two different channel pairs they gave me weren't even matching there was anything here on these blocks, right? Any of them, right? No, nothing, the, the numbers, once it got to uh, zero 04, it just was all some other weird string of things with letters and numbers and all sorts of stuff, right? So, I got on the phone, I had a backdoor number to Telstra, got on there, spoke to one of the guys there. He wasn't, he was very helpful, but he wasn't that educated, he didn't even know what a channel pair was or an MDF. So, trying to work with him and then they went to some, I don't know what they call them there, we used to call them level twos, they call them a schmoo or something, I don't know what they call them. But he was had to relay it back to them. Um, and then he, they would, I said, look, just let me talk to the guy. And he goes, oh, we can't, you know, they, they don't talk to people. Um, so I'm like, what the bloody hell's going on here? Uh, so I have literally been on the phone for three hours, three hours, trying to get this sorted out, right? Spoke to Jesse and then I couldn't speak to these schmoo guys or whatever they call themselves. Finally got to manage to speak to a team leader. Um, she had, I explained the whole story to her, went through everything with her, um, you know, saying, look, you know, you shouldn't have two channel pairs. The channel pairs don't match the block numbers. Um, well, the block numbers they gave me didn't match the block numbers here. Anyway, so finally she told Jesse, look, call MBN. Um, try and get the right details off them and then so he spoke to he had to hang up from our call spoke to MBN then finally came back and said uh, yeah MBN's not taking responsibility for this they don't know what's going on <laughs> right and said this is a Telstra issue so you know it's clearly got MBN car written on these um, so apparently these are Telstra blocks, not MBM blocks, but they're MBM, right? So I'm, I've literally been here four hours, right? Four hours to bloody run a jumper cable. Now, this is just beyond ridiculous. So I took meticulous notes, time stamped everything, um, and this video is just basically to follow up because I've got a sneaky suspicion when like the technician that from Telstra came in here last time, he just shook his head and went, I don't know what's going on, and he's just left, right? And said it was a problem with the building. I've got a sneaky suspicion the same thing is gonna happen again. So, um, I've already spoke to the Telstra Complaints Department. Um, they've said they're gonna reimburse this customer for all my time here today, and for the extra time I spent. And I've also made them say that they're gonna reimburse me for any reports that I need to write on this, because I spent an hour and a half of my own time here last time writing reports and uploading that video and doing all sorts of stuff to get this customer out of trouble. So, again, we are back to square one. So I finally managed um, to get Telstra to send out a technician tomorrow morning between eight and 12. Um, they said they were only gonna tag it here, test and tag, um, but I've basically pleaded with them just to, you know, run the bloody cable from my jumper here. You know, it's, it's labelled, you know, it, it shouldn't be that hard. Um, so, if again, 
I've got a I've got a feeling this is not over yet. Um, I think there's some sort of weird thing going on in Telstra's system um, or MBN system. I don't know, but I just didn't want to leave this customer in the lurch. Um, so I basically spent half a day here just trying to work this out for them. It was just so monotonous. I'm I'm brain dead. I'm feeling brain dead from what I've been through today. I can't believe the way that these companies conduct their business. Like it's unbelievable. Anyway, so that's where we're at here today. Um, I hope and I pray for this customer that this is it. Um, so yeah, all right, later. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed um, we provide a range of services to help you out there'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service alright thank you very much goodbye